Hi, in this tutorial we're just going to have a quick look at the pinnacle rearrangement. So pinnacle is this molecule here where the methyl group uh, is just uh, represented as ME, CH3 group there. Um, pinnacle's um, a white solid and it's generated from the coupling of uh, acetone to give uh, this nice diol structure. What we're going to look at today is the rearrangement of pinnacle uh, using a bit of heat uh, to give this uh, ketone species which is called pinnacolone. Okay so what's going to happen is we're just going to rearrange one of the methyl groups um, from one, one side of this symmetrical molecule over to the other and in the process we're going to lose water and we're going to generate a ketone. Okay so the first thing to do like any acid catalyzed reaction is to pick up a proton. Okay, so I just changed my colour here and get a proton ready. There we go. So, like I said, the first thing we've got to do is protonate uh, that OH group, and that creates a really good leaving group because it will create one of the best leaving groups we can have, which will be water. So, we'll just protonate that molecule there to give this structure. Okay, so we've got our water there, we've got a nice charged leaving group. We're in acidic conditions, so all the all the charges are balancing out quite nicely. And this is when the fun occurs. Okay, the next stage is uh, the loss of water. So it's elimination of water or, or loss of water there. To give this carbonium ion. Now this carbonium ion is stabilised by uh, the alkyl groups around it. So if you've done hyperconjugation before or anything like that you'll you'll know a little bit about this if not there's a general rule of thumb is that tertiary carbonium ions are stabilized more than secondary more than primary so you look at the amount of alkyl groups around that carbonium ion and so that means it's a relatively stable intermediate and so it will exist like that uh, for a short lifetime before the next stage of reaction occurs so the next stage of reaction is to uh, lose a proton again. We're trying to form that carbonyl group here now, but in order to do that, because the carbon's already saturated, it needs to lose a bond in the carbon-carbon bond of one of its methyl groups. And this is where you get this 1-2 uh, bognemethyl shift, and that moves over to uh, the carbonium ion, and that will give us our compound of interest, which is pinacolone. We'll just draw this out quickly. You're probably noticing that the uh, the pen is moving very fast. I've speeded up a little bit just so, so we can whiz through my drawings. Okay, so there's there's pinacolone, and that's exactly what we wanted. Um, so the the main um, reaction step is the migration of the methyl group there. So that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we'll have a quick look at the migratory aptitude of the migrating group. So bye for now.